I'm an NRA news commentator. I talk about gun issues. But what I'm gonna discuss right now is only a gun issue in the mind of anti-gun groups who apparently will stop at nothing to stigmatize and shame firearm owners. The subject is abuse. It's a heavy one. I know because I know women who have been abused. And to think that their suffering is being used by organizations not to make them safer or even to punish their attackers, but rather to advance an agenda is absolutely disgusting. Anti-gun organizations toss around statistics like this. Women are eight times more likely to be murdered when a firearm is present in the home. Now, before you think I'm taking the statistic at face value, I'm not. It's important to note that there is no list of American homes with guns in them. It's actually unconstitutional to do that. So statistics like these are questionable at best. But a woman's right to choose how to defend herself is neither questionable nor a statistical argument. It comes down to freedom of choice. I know victims of domestic abuse who only sleep well at night because they've had a lot of therapy and because they have a gun in the home. I've taught and taken classes with women who've purchased a firearm in order to protect themselves against a violent former partner. And let's not forget the countless women out there who defended their own lives in a situation that was abusive with the use of a firearm. Look, the real issue here, if we can get past all of this fear mongering about guns, is abuse. And abuse is not caused by guns. It's caused by issues like drug use and low self-esteem and education and income disparity. And of course, we all know that abusive behavior in childhood often comes from experiencing abuse as a child. But where are the anti-gun groups on all of these problems? Nowhere. Because it seems that their only interest in domestic abuse is making sure that these victims can't defend themselves with a firearm. That is truly shameful. You might have heard the saying, you can spend all your time saving people from drowning in a current, or you can go upstream and look who's throwing them in the river. This isn't about guns, it never has been. It's about societal issues that create the violence. And there has to be a societal solution to the problem. It's up to all of us to be vigilant and educated on the issue. Taking away guns from women is not a solution to domestic violence. You can take guns out of the equation altogether if you want to, but you're still left with women who are either being beaten or stabbed or verbally tortured. Here's what I wanna see. I want a society that isolates and shames these abusers as nothing more than evil, bottom-feeding cowards, the lowest of the low. And I want a society that celebrates and empowers women to be independent and capable and strong. And competent, educated gun ownership is a part of that strength.